Hello everyone, welcome back to Rachel's studio and I have the coolest little doohickey that I wanna tell you all about. I learned about this on a Facebook group from Julie Kraut. Thank you, Julie Kraut, for mentioning this on a Facebook group. I don't remember which. It might have been Diane Zimmerman's amazing watercolor beginner and beyond group. Love that group. Gotten so many hacks from her too. But I used this doohickey on the whiskers for this cat. And so today I'm going to show you this new little doohickey that I found that's great for applying masking to make really fine lines. Like look at how thin I got these whiskers. So without further ado, let me show you this thing. But first a word from my heart sponsor. Parker, do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi everybody. Oh, that was nice. My what name's Poco. All right, so here you see my little line drawing that I've done. This is a commission and I videoed the entire thing for my Patreon students with full explanations. But anyway, check this out. This is a Kemper Fluid Writing Pen Tool. Let's listen in on my real-time tutorial and see what I have to say about this tool. I'm going to start by using this tool to paint the whiskers. And so I just use a little dropper tool. I'm using some masking, but I'm gonna tilt my paper in a way that makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing here. But I, I can get really fine lines with this. And it's really nice. And you know, if you do get those blobs, you can always just use a scrubber brush to fix those. Put a couple little dots in the eyes. Now, another little note I will make about this applicator is you can unscrew this and it has this little, it's like a wire that you can insert into this. So if this gets clogged, you can just clean it out with the little wire. And apparently a lot of calligraphists is that a word, calligraphist? Calligraphy people, <laughs> they use this to actually write with. So it gives you really good control. And actually, when I first got this, it was wonky and I had to use super glue on it. So these are for sale on Amazon. And I have experimented with this a lot, had a few... Uh, problems with it because I found out that if I add a little water to my masking, it actually drips out of this tool too much. And normally I apply masking by using an old rigger, rubbing that in soap, and then applying masking. And I found that if I water down my masking for that technique, that it will make even thinner lines. So when I tried to do the same thing with this doohickey, this Kemper Fluid Rider, it dripped out too much, so don't do that. But you can also put paint in this and paint whiskers or fine lines or, I don't know, telephone lines, <laughs> anything long and thin. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the painting footage too because now you can really see where those whiskers are and how fine a line I was able to get with them. So I really like this and I do think I will be using it I've also played around with using a calligraphy pen, but I have had mixed results with that. Uh, you might also notice I'm using a wreath hanger to rest my hand on. That's another hack that I recently learned. And I've got so many hacks for you guys, but so little time to share them. So I share all my hacks and things as I learn them on my Patreon group at the $3 tier level. So that's a great level to join my Patreon if you just want to know what I'm learning about. But anyway, let's remove this masking and really see what these look like. And by the way, for whiskers, what I like to do when I mask them is I like to use a scrubber. That's why I must use Arsh Cold Press 140 pound paper because it will take the scrubbing. And anytime you use masking, I found you really have to use a scrubber or some other method to kind of soften your masking marks. So in a minute here, you'll see me using a scrubber and I'll scrub at the base of the whiskers and also through the middle. But anyway, I just wanted to share this fun little tool with you all. I'm really excited about it. I think it's worth a buy. I probably will use it um, quite a bit. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to subscribe because I bring you a new tutorial almost every week, <laughs> unless my world is falling apart. Thank you again. Be sure to check out my Patreon if you'd like to learn from me more in depth. And my Facebook group is free. Come and post your paintings there and come chat it up with my art community. We have a lot of fun over there. And I will see you next time. Now go watercolor your world. Bye, everybody.